This isn't the lock picking lawyer, and what I have for you today is a password lock. It is a finite state machine that looks like this. You enter a password and press the button. Upon releasing the button, it checks the password, and if it's right, you're in. However, we can introduce another state transition that completely bypasses the part where it checks the password by holding the button and shooting some freaking laser beams at this spot. But how did we get here? Or to be more precise, why am I pointing the laser right here? Well... When a logic gate switches, current flows in the transistors, and when that current flows, the chip emits a small amount of light, or as the cool kids like to say, photons. Why? Uh, I don't know. Answering that is not my problem. However, we can use this phenomenon to physically locate specific gates and registers within the chip. Program the chip such that the relevant register flips back and forth at a totally usable rate, and with the help of a very dark box and a very cool camera, we can take some images of the photons emitted by the chip and put it on top of an image of the chip's die. Here is the photon emission of eight adjacent registers, and by selectively enabling and disabling them, we can determine which spot corresponds to which register. This information is crucial for... One million! Whoa! What better way to find the fault sensitive spots than to automatically brute force it using machines that are likely worth more than me? Would you uh, rather drive the 2012 Nissan Versa or 1 50th of an Alphanove laser microscope station? Our setup looks something like this. We got our FPGA in order to, you know, attack it. Then connected to the FPGA is this modified Arduino. The pins right here are the outputs of every register, and when one of them flips, it says, Oh, wait, it's a flip register. Whoa! And then takes note by setting a flag. Using this system, we can search for fault sensitive spots. The process is as follows Step number one take an image of the chip and set a reference point for drawing on it. Scritz Numis Vai. Determine the bounds for the search. Sutepu Bango San. Fire the laser. Paso numero cuatro. Read and reset the flags from the tester. If there is a fault, reprogram the FPGA and draw a spot on the map. Shak no me piet. Move the laser a bit. Yuk buan dang ye. Repeat steps three through five for all spots within the bounds. So long as no one uses the elevator next door. Shut up, elevator! You should be left with a cool map of faults. However, one issue I've had with registers is glitch. Glit 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 glit. Normally, when we are faulting a register, we want it to do this. But oftentimes, it does this instead. The solution is akin to what you'd use for a push button. Sometimes, the mechanical contacts bounce off each other, and so one press would be seen as five. A solution, or debouncer if you will, is to wait for the input to settle before acknowledging that it chained. By putting a debouncer between the register outputs and the tester inputs, we can filter out these glitches and turn this into this. And now, I made it so this green spot corresponds to one of the state registers, which we can flip with the laser to entirely bypass authentication. Besides all the laser stuff, what primarily makes this possible is that the security critical unlock state and this input buffer state differ in encoding by only one bit, which means a single laser shot, or 20 because it's really really hard, we can instantly flip between the two. Changing the encoding such that the difference between these two states is more than one bit renders this attack nearly impossible, at least using our current setup. Anyways, I don't know how to end this video. Bye!